Okay, we are going to start recipe with the marinade that I'm going to use. And for that, we are going to use some limes. We're going to use the juice of two limes, maybe three, because it, it just depends on the juice of one orange. The limes just depend if they're a little dry. So I just use my juicer. You can just squeeze them by hand if you don't have one. This is about a half a cup of juice. And I'm going to just put it into the bowl where I'm going to marinate the chicken. And we are going to move on with the limes. The limes are a little dry, so I couldn't juice them by hand. So I'm just going to press them. And that seems to be enough. Okay, now, I've made a recipe of chile guajillo that I use for enchiladas and different types of stuff. So I always have some in the refrigerator. I will post this recipe separate from this one. We're going to use one cup of the chile guajillo recipe, okay? And now for the dry spices, a half a teaspoon of ground pepper, one teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of comino, one teaspoon of the cilantro lime seasoning that I showed. The cilantro lime seasoning that I use, the blend, is this Tony's recipe here. And I love this stuff. I use it in everything, okay? One teaspoon of that, a half of a teaspoon of Mexican oregano. I take it between my fingers and I just crush it. And that just brings out the essence in the, in the spice. Two minced garlics. Now we're just gonna give all this a whisk and we're gonna prepare the chicken to put it into the bag to marinate for at least a couple of hours in the refrigerator, preferably overnight, okay? I'll be right back, okay? I took out my other cutting board to clean up the chicken and I just buy the split breast, whatever's on sale that day. We'll just buy what your family likes. I'm just gonna take off a lot of this fat. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave it like that, and I'm gonna put it into the bowl where I have the marinade. And I'm gonna continue to clean this, and we'll be back. Okay, now I cleaned up my cutting board and everything. We're gonna get back to the marinade, and I just give it a good toss in here, and then we're gonna toss it into the bag that I'm gonna use to put it into the refrigerator. And I just leave it whole like this because we're gonna cook it whole. We're not gonna cut it till after it's cooked. Get all these small pieces and then throw all the marinade in there. Okay, we busted a leak on the other bag so I'm not gonna trust these bags. I'm just gonna double bag it and put it in the refrigerator. Okay guys, I'm gonna toss this in the refrigerator and I'll be back in a couple of hours. Okay guys, we're getting ready to cook off the chicken. I drained the marinade from it and of course we're gonna discard that. You can't use that again for anything else because of the poultry. I'm gonna use my cast iron skillet for this and I've put a little bit of oil down and I let it get very, very hot. And like I said, I drained the poultry as much as I could and I'm gonna set this down. Cover this so that it doesn't splatter all over the place. We're gonna let that cook about four to five minutes per side. Okay, we're gonna turn it over. Okay guys, we're gonna take this piece of chicken off. I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna put it on the plate and we're gonna let it rest and I'm gonna pop you over. We're gonna assemble our tacos. Okay guys, the chicken has been resting for a few minutes and I am going to slice it and then we are going to assemble some tacos. So I just go against the grain here and you can cut it as small or as big as you like it. Okay, I'm gonna move this aside, bring in our plate and I'm gonna bring in our tortillas. I'm gonna use corn tortillas for the video, but of course you can use flour, whatever you like. What I like to do is I like to get my tortillas, and they're kinda hot, and I get my chicken. You put in as much as you like, whatever your family likes. 
some up and here on this tray i have some lettuce tomato some onion some queso fresco some lime some avocado some salsa and some salsa taquera so what i like to do is i like to take my taco put a little bit of lettuce a little bit of tomato some onion look at all those colors i like the queso fresco and then i like to put my crema okay i put my crema and i even put still some chile on top of that fold it over I like to put double tortillas so stuff doesn't start falling apart. There's your tacos. And then you serve it with a little bit of a lemon wedge and some avocado. If you want to put it on top or put it on the side. And there you go. Okay guys, that's going to conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you give these tacos a try. They're really, really good. If you have any questions about the marinade or anything, just leave it in the comments below and I will get back with you. Okay guys, thank you for watching the videos. Bye.